in dictionary term means obscure the light from one or to another celestial body. An eclipse takes place when one heavenly body such as moon or planet moves to the shadow of the another heavenly body. There are two types of eclipse. One is lunar and the other is solar. Lunar eclipse. The moon moves in an orbit around the earth and at the same time earth orbits the sun. Sometimes earth moves between the sun and the moon. When this happens, earth blocks the sunlight that normally is reflected by the moon. The sunlight is what causes the moon to shine. Instead of the light hitting the moon's surface, earth's shadow falls on it. This is an eclipse of the moon, a lunar eclipse. A lunar eclipse can occur only when moon is full. Lunar eclipse can be seen from the earth at night. There are two types of lunar eclipse, total lunar eclipse and partial lunar eclipse. A lunar eclipse usually lasts for few hours. At least two partial lunar eclipses happen every year, but total lunar eclipses are rare. It is safe to look at lunar eclipse. Sometimes when the moon orbits the earth, it moves in between the sun and earth. When this happens, the moon blocks the light from the sun from reaching the earth. This causes an eclipse on the sun or solar eclipse. During solar eclipse, the moon casts a shadow onto the earth. There are three types of solar eclipse. The first is total solar eclipse. A total solar eclipse is visible only from small area on the earth. The people who see the total solar eclipse are in the center of the moon's shadow wherein it hits the earth. The sky becomes very dark as if it were night. For a total eclipse to take place, the sun, moon and earth must be in a direct line. The second type of solar eclipse is a partial solar eclipse. This happens when the moon, the sun and earth are not exactly lined up. The sun appears to have a dark shadow only on a smaller part of its surface. The third type is annual eclipse. An annual eclipse happens when the moon is the farthest from the earth. Because the moon is far away from earth, it seems smaller. It does not block the entire view of the sun. The moon is in front of the sun and looks like a dark disk on top of a larger sun colored disk. This creates a ring like appearance. During solar eclipse, the moon cast two shadow on the earth. The first shadow is called as umbra. This shadow gets smaller as it reaches earth. It is the dark center of the moon's shadow. The second shadow is called as a pre-umbra. The pre-umbra gets larger as it reaches the earth. People standing in the pre-umbra will see a partial eclipse. People standing in the umbra will see a total eclipse. Solar eclipse happens every 18 months. Unlike lunar eclipse, solar eclipse only lasts for a few minutes. According to UTC, partial solar eclipse will be visible in some parts of India on the 9th of March. The video shows the shadow of the moon during the solar eclipse. Approximately, eclipse will start from any time between 5.26 am to 6.50 am according to the sunrise in your city. Fear of solar eclipse still exists today. Many people around the world still see eclipse as an evil omen 
that brings with them death, destruction and disaster. A popular misconception is that solar eclipse can be danger to pregnant women and an unborn child. In many culture, young children and pregnant women are asked to stay indoors during a solar eclipse. In many parts of India, people observe fast during solar eclipse due to the belief that any food cooked while an eclipse happens will be poisonous and unpure. Here are some brilliant myths which come with solar eclipse. Some believe that the sun is being eaten by a demon. In Vietnam, people believe that the giant frog was devouring the sun while in ancient China, people thought a hungry celestial dragon was responsible for this. In Europe, the Vikings blamed wolves for consuming the sun. According to ancient Hindu mythology, the demon Rahu is beheaded by the supreme deity Vishnu for drinking the nectar of the gods. His head flies across the sky and swallows the sun. To scare Rahu away, it is a common practice for people to bang pots and pans and make loud noises during an eclipse. This is done to scare the demon away. Ancient Greeks believed a solar eclipse was a sign the gods were angry and that it heralded disasters and destruction. Scientists and astronomers around the world have debunked any such claims. There is no scientific evidence that solar eclipse can affect human behavior health or environment. Scientists, however, do emphasize that anyone watching a solar eclipse must protect their eyes. Log on to gravifynews.com, your one-stop destination for all your news needs.